It's been said that at least 50% of great video is great audio. And if you don't believe that, try listening to your favorite television show while somebody else in the house vacuums. Hi, it's Whitney Hahn, and in today's Digital Bard University lesson, we're going to discuss the importance of great audio with a little help from my 11-year-old nephew. Last summer, my nephew and his friends decided they were going to make a movie over the course of the summer. And since he lives in Sharpsburg, Maryland, he's right smack dab in the middle of Antietam battlefields. So Steps of Fear was born. It's very dramatic. He talked my sister into videotaping it, and after they captured all the footage in the field, they brought it back to Digital Bard for post-production, where a very patient Natasha Marshall, one of our summer editors, uh, put it all together for them. Now, it was clear early on that even though the guys did a great job, they were going to need some help from music, sound effects, and other audio elements to make sure the story really flowed. So let me show you the scene as they shot it on Antietam Battlefield, without any special effects, without any sound effects, without any music, just straight out of the camera. This is a present from Uncle Robert! Yeah! Oh. Let's get him! Get him! Let's get him, boys! Let's get that oh. Yankee! Yeah, 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 yeah! Let's take this Yankee! <laughs> Okay, that's pretty fun, but it's lacking something, right? You don't really get the action, the tension, the energy that they want from the scene. So the first thing we did was we added a very dramatic music bed and some atmospheric sounds. In this case, to bring up the tension, we added some thunder in the background. Take a listen now. This is a present from Uncle Robert! Yeah! Let's get him! Get him! Let's get him, boys! Let's get him! Oh! And finally, we needed the war to come alive with sound effects for the guns and some special visual effects from Sam Tressler. This is a present from Uncle Robert! Yeah! Let's get him! Get him! Let's get him, boys! Let's get him! Oh! As you can see, the guys did a great job in the field, but it was really the drama of the music, the punctuation of the sound effects, and the great visual effects touches that brought this story to life for them. What does this mean for you and your next video production? Well, whether it's something fun you want to do with the kids over the course of the summer, or a video you're putting together for business, audio is still vitally important to how effective your storytelling is. So here are a few do's and don'ts. First of all, don't be too far away from your subject. The further the camera gets, the further the microphone gets from the subject, and it may be difficult to pick up dialogue. Another way to get around this, if you really need to be away from your subject, is to invest a little bit in an extra external microphone, which I highly recommend. Watch out for noisemakers in your environment. Traffic sounds, an air conditioning unit, fan humming, the chatty conversation that's happening in the kitchen. All of these things can really distract the viewer from what you're trying to say. And finally, don't be afraid to explore sound effects and music beds. If you check the Digital Bard resources page on our website, you'll find some links to some of the sound effects houses and royalty-free licensed music sources that we use and recommend. Make sure that you take care of audio in your next video production and your audience will applaud your efforts.